Hi guys, and welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang Sushan, the Scalding Hot Assam, the El Grey? What is the tea? Are you ready for your tea, Sydney? <gasps> oh my god! Here we are. We are here at the end of the year to do our yearly roundup of the worst piercing fails of 2023. Now, I do love doing these yearly roundups because it is just full of insanity. So, buckle up, get yourself a drink, get yourself a nice little snack, maybe a, a little cup of El Grey. And join me for the day for the top 40 worst piercing fails of 2023. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up and in for the new year because we ain't going anywhere, sis. We're still doing these next year. Anyway, <laughs> let's not beat around the bush swatly eh, and get on with this countdown. So number 40, we have, oh, you know, would a, would a piercing fell video be done without a cattle tag piercing? And she's getting, oh, crunch. Oh God. Obviously there's music playing in the background so I can't play it. Now you're probably wondering, why is this so high up on the list? And I'm actually gonna be a uh, revelation happened. So normally things like this, I would always be like, that's disgusting, how dare you pierce your ear? That's vile. Die. But unlike reflection over the time, if we look very closely, she actually already has them pierced and it's gone. Th I think she's got stretched ears already. And it's got, because it looks like a hole here and it's going through the hole. So it's not as grotesque as we thought, but still, casual tag piercings. We've seen many of them. But of course, one of these roundup videos wouldn't be complete without at least one cattle tag piercing. Coming in at 39. Now, this isn't so much of a piercing fell, but it's more of like an obscene, extreme piercing thing. So we saw this a few months ago, maybe like three, four months ago. And it was essentially this guy who had five thousand piercings done in one day to break a Guinness world record. When I first saw this, I thought it was fake and I was like, this is obscene. But if you look, how many needles are in this guy's body? Look, look how many different needles are all scattered. And like, this was down his legs, down his front, all of his arms. He didn't do his face. So he left his face out, which to be honest, I'm like, do you know, that's a good shout. Man in the face. For a Guinness World Record, leave your life, girl. We had a whole like talk about how I think some Guinness World Records are just completely obscene, like bizarre. Like why, the, like, why is this even a Guinness World Record? But you know what? I am a grumpy old man. And I love it. Coming in at 38, we have this guy who's got nipple piercings and he's hanging cat. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Even after, oh, I hate it. But... Oh, I hate it. Even now, I hate it. I hate it. The, I, like, as someone who's had nipple piercings and seen what, like, how painful they are, just like the idea that you would like crack cans open. Whereas, look, wait, 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 wait. Put some onto his nipple, and that, to be fair, this is already enough thing that makes me cringe. Like, if I did that to my piercings or my nipples when I had them, it would have hurt so much because they just never really healed. And then the fact that he like properly like yanks on them to open these oh no 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 oh god oh no 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 i think that definitely earns a spot on this year's top piercing fails of the year oh god any nipple piercing people here in the in the chat let me know what you think about that coming in at 37 we got rip one of your cheek oh so oh yes it was the cheek of course so this guy wraps a bit of string around his cheek dermal and then wraps it around <clears throat> and then rips it out as if like it's, as if it's like a tooth. You know, when you're younger, you were like, oh, I'll put your teeth in the door. You know, you, you'd, you'd, you'd rip a tooth out. You'd wrap a bit of string and you would see it in cartoons a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this guy literally wraps a piece of string around his like dermal in his cheek and then just rips it out with a door. Oh, obscene, obscene. If you've got dermals, wonderful. I would love to get a dermal at some point because I really want to see what it's like. And like, I, I love surface piercings. Don't rip them out yourself. Actually get them taken out properly. Especially like this one, because this actually looks like it's still actually in the skin. It doesn't look like it's rejected, but coming out. Dermal anchors obviously have like an anchor that sort of sits underneath the skin. So when you're pulling it out, there's a chance that you could really rip your skin open, which is really like, no, 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 no. It ain't worth it, sis. Get them like professionally removed. I know it's expensive, but trust me you don't want to end up gashing your cheek down then you're having to pay for surgery to sew it up because you've just ripped it out so coming in at 36 so i took my babies to get her ears pierced and this happened so of course there's a baby screaming and shouting i have to get rid of the sound because it's got music in and then she uses the piercing cartridge and she pierces her gloves into the baby's ear look it's it, oh 
Oh, this poor child. She's got her gloves stuck inside her infant baby. Like, I, this this baby is like six, seven months old. Like, she's young. And then she's like cutting the gloves out of the baby's ears. Like, this is obscene. And of course, throughout this, the baby is screaming. Like, oh, again, I get to have to take out the sound because of music. But like, the baby is screaming. She's like got her gloves caught inside the. Oh! <sighs> This is one of the reasons why you don't get your piercings done on these kiosks, Claire's accessories, like all these other places that are now doing. Like there's so many different places now in the UK, like high, like high street stores that are going, come and get your ears pierced, like sort of a clothing jewelry stores. Loads of them are doing it now. And they're using these kind of like cartridge gun things. It's so stupid. Stop it. Oh. Coming in at 35, we have these two couples that somehow got their nose hoops linked together. I'm assuming they had some naughty kissy poo time and somehow their nose piercings got entwined with each other. But what I find really confusing about this one is the fact that they're both like complete circle rings, which like I don't get how they managed to like click on together because they don't look like they're like horseshoe bars. It looks fully like they're together and they're fully like trapped, trapped. And that's how they died. Both of them perished, never seen again. She's dead. Honestly, if this was me and my nose ring was caught on someone and we were that close together like that, I think my fight or flight mode would fully kick in and I would just panic. I would fully just panic and be like, ah, and then rip out the piercing. How did this happen? I'm so confused how this happened. What happened? How did it happen, girls? I'm confused. Like, look. Like, they look like they're full rings. They don't look like they're horseshoe bars or anything. They look like actual full rings. So I don't know how they got caught together. Some brats are gonna die today. So coming in at 34, we've got these two people who decided to corset their faces together. Now, this would be lower on the list. I mean, that and more shocking if it wasn't for the fact that it's clearly not real. As you can see, these hoops have been stuck on the face. I mean, the, the, the hiding of the, the spirit gum, whatever they've used to stick them on, isn't amazing. But... I still put it on the list because when we first watched it, it was quite like, oh, what's happening? But it was interesting. I mean, if you love your friends so much or your partner or your lover or even your dog, <laughs> why don't you corset your face together? That's illegal. I made a pigeon rat. Sure. Sure. I mean, it made a good thumbnail, didn't it? It made something good for the thumbnail when I made the video. <laughs> Coming in at 33, we had this. Now, this person has a really big stretch. Oh, I hate it. Even now, I hate it. It's so gooey. Ooey gooey, sticky wicky, shriveled little septum hole. I hate it. This doesn't actually hate this person at all. Like, if this is what you want, fine. But the idea of stretching your septum that big that you can, like, squish your nose down, it's, like, as I said, it's a little bit cocaine shake, isn't it? It's very, like, I've corroded my, like, my cartilage away from too much cocaine, and now I can squish my nose down. The gooeyness. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it, it fit, it, it's so alien because like, I can push it down a tiny bit. Like, that's it. The I, the idea of being able to flatten it. Yeah, it, it does, it does kind of just make me feel a little bit like my, uh, my cartilage is eroded away from too much cocaine use. She's on drugs. So number 32, we have this. Now this was more of a body mod rather than piercing, but it was in a piercing fail video. And this person decided that they wanted to like modify the ear to put like these little like tassels in, which... If this is really what you want, you live your life, girl. I really don't understand because, like, if we look at the healed photo, like, once it's healed, it just kind of doesn't... It just looks like you've got a chunk of your ear taken out. So I don't know what they expected it was going... Like, did they think, like, it was going to be, like, an, an octopus? Like, did they think it was going to be, like, tassels? Because, like, now it just kind of looks a bit... Like, what was the point? It's disgusting, that's what it is. Oh, uh, but I had to include this one because this actually got a really... I put this on Instagram. I did like a little story and I did like a reel on Instagram and it got it went really big. I thought, you know, let's include it to this list. But yeah, I find it so strange. Like, personally, like, I don't see the point of doing that. Like, sure. I don't mind when people crop their ears or do things, but sometimes I'm like, I don't really understand the point of that. But you know what? Art is subjective. <laughs> Coming in at 31, we have this. Now, this was really, like, confusing. So this person has, like, two smiley piercings. And so one is, like, here on the lip. And it's actually quite, like, looks like a normal smiley. But you've got this other one that's, like, so unbelievably deep inside inside the lip. I've never seen a smiley piercing this deep. Oh, that's... Deep! I've never seen a smiley piercing this deep in someone's lip. Where is it going? Like, where is it actually going inside? I don't, uh, where is it going? What's what's obscene is the fact that she's got this huge bar coming down, making it look like she's got, like, vampire fangs, which that would not only, like, make your lip protrude more, but, like, 
This has to be in just for a photo or a video or something because I can't imagine actually having that and not it like really being one uncomfortable, but two just like scraping, scraping the enamel off your teeth. Like that's fully like touching. That's fully touching these teeth. Like it's fully touching these teeth. Like God. God! Coming in at number 30, we have straight boys doing straight boy things. Oh! Wow. Scandalous! So this person oh, is, for some strange reason, hammering a nail through his ear. Because... He... Because... 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 But what I think is funny about this, he's like, whoa! And then there's like this sort of like, you can see in his face here, it's like, uh, what did I just do? Fully, fully like, oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Was this the right thing to do? Oh, uh, <laughs> why? What is the point on a like a piece of wood as well? Like, oh god, the stupid. Let's all go do it now to impress our friends. Let's go hammer nails into our ears. Like, why? Like, if you're the kind of person that finds that like impressive or like, oh, I love this person more now. I'm like, I don't want to be part of that life. Like, what's going on? So number twenty nine, we have this awful, awful tragus piercing that is sunken really far into the ear. Like, look how sunken this is. Sinky winky, tragus, rotting, death. She's dead. Like, look how far in that is. And like, she tries to look at the back as well. And like, if we just kind of look at the back a little bit, it looks like the back is like, almost like fully submerged. It's hard because she doesn't really pull it out. Get it out. But I would assume that this was probably done with a butterfly clip or something. And it was really tight. And of course, as the piercing swells, it then envelops the ball because how, where else is it going to go? But God, I can't imagine how painful that must have been to try to get that out of your ear. Like if that was left anymore, you'd have to get it surgically removed like a scalpel and things. I think they probably caught this at the very, very like last moment they possibly could. But Jesus Christ, that pain Painful. Painful! So coming in at 28, we have this industrial piercing. So first of all, like this person's doing a piercing in like some like in the couch, in their house somewhere. And so he tries to like thread the the, the, the bar through, but like doesn't give the ear any support whatsoever. So like it bends the ear down, so which is just obscene. But of course, because he's doing that, he's not given the bar proper like, uh, the essentially, he now lost the transfer because he wasn't able to give the actual bar the support it needed to go through. So because the ear bent down, obviously the piercing hole has like warped because you're not supporting it, which then caused the transfer to go wrong. I didn't understand the word of that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but like, first of all, where, where is this? Is this someone's scout? Like, it's the piercing this top bit, but it's, it's this guy has, hasn't had a thought in his life. But because there's no support, what you should be doing is like, giving support of the ear here so you can hold the structure of the ear in shape. So then the hole doesn't move, the, the, you know, the new pierce hole doesn't warp or anything, and then you can thread it through perfectly. But because he's not doing that, the ear is like bending, which is causing the hole to go skew with. So when he's trying to push this through, of course, the piercing bar comes out, but the actual like jewelry can't go through properly because you've uh. it up. Oh, it's so stupid. And then tries to push it through. Oh gosh, oh no. Now, there is a full version of this. And in the full version of this video, he keeps trying to put it in and it keeps fading. And this guy is just like, what? <laughs> I like it, the chew. So at 27, we have this. So there's this like guy at a party somewhere, like in a field somewhere. And they've got a lemon. And this guy's like going to pierce his ear with like some sewing pin thing. I don't understand why people think putting citric acid in a brand new piercing is gonna be a good idea. Like you're gonna make a hole in someone's body and unclean as well, dirty. And then put lemon? Lemon? Oh, and the, oh, it's disgusting. No cleaning, no anything, just like, it's so vile. It's so vile, oh, I hate it. It's so disgusting. What are they, like, what is that even pierced with? And then he's like, just gonna shove a, a, a feather on the back of it. Like just, a d and it's dirty as well. Like, I I would rather, I just, <laughs> someone's gonna die tonight, do da, do da. He pissed his ear and now he's dead of an infection, of an infection, of an infection. Someone's gonna die tonight of an infection. Find the note. And the note. So coming in at 26, again, isn't so much of a piercing fail, but it's definitely one of the extreme thing. Like, let's just, I'm just gonna pause it here a second. Like, look at these piercings on this guy's tongue. Just got to, hang on, let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 tongue piercings. Especially like having spikes here. I don't understand how like it doesn't hurt the top of your mouth. If you have piercings towards the edge of your tongues, like it's gonna hit against your teeth and stuff. To have that many around the rim, it must be like scraping against all of your teeth. But also like how difficult it would be to talk. Like I just, it's it's obscene. Like there's so many, again, if this is really what you want, you live your life, girl. But I could not imagine living with that many tongue piercings in. It must be so uncomfortable. It must be really, look, look. It must be so, that must be so uncomfortable. But also what I find interesting is because of how much your tongue swells when you get new tongue piercings, like your, your tongue really swells. Of course he's not gonna get all of these done at once. Does that mean that every time he gets a new tongue piercing he has to like rechange all the other jewelry? Because of course, as all the others swell, there's a potential that they'll start to eat, the tongue will eat up the other bars because they're too small. Like, that's, I, wow, sure. So coming in at 25, we have a classic piercing error that we've seen a few times, but of course, a list like this wouldn't be complete without at least one of these. So this person's trying to get a, a nose piercing. And if you look here, look what happens. Ooh, stabbed go through the nose. <laughs> None of them survived. Oh, God, be more careful. It is obscene. It is obscene how the pit, like, look, it's obscene. How did you miss your tube? Like, how did you do that? I just, I don't understand. Like, you're, you have, you pierced downwards, but you decided to pierce sideways. I don't get it. I really don't understand. So number 24, we have this. Whatever this is, I don't know. Um, it's gooey. It's, it's, looks a bit alien tentacle. There's something in the ear. They've pissed, they're doing something and it like, what, what's happening? Like, what is happening? <laughs> like, <laughs> even after what, six months when I did this one, like, what the hell? So number 23, um, I have to take out the sound, but I think we can, um, I'll just let the video speak for itself. So this person is, um, um, just on a bed. Um, his dirty fingernail, vile, dirty fingernails piercing his nipple. I don't really, um, um, <laughs> even uh, again, even after all this time, like, I'm still puzzled by it. Like, what? What are you doing? Like, in the bit, on the bit, like, I feel as if somebody's disemboweling themselves in front of me, and I don't know whether to applaud or vomit. Tree. Tree, tree. You know full well that this didn't last very long at all. You know very well this did not last very long in his like nipple. It's just obscene. It's just obscene. Even after all this time, I feel fine. Absolutely obscene. Obscene. The nails, the no sanitization. They got just lying down on a bed, like in the, on the bed. Like what? So coming in at 22, we have this nose piercing gone horribly wrong. So this guy has gone in to get his nose piercing. The piercer's like, right, I've done the nose piercing. Eh. They've got the needle in, fine, whatever. Even though the needle seems to be very close to his lip. And so they try to transfer this L bend, like nose stud, which I'm not a big fan of these because they do tend to mess up often. But in the process, she loses the transfer. And so this person's the L say, I need to read to it, girl. But of course, once you lose a transfer like that, it's very difficult to re like get it, it gone again. When you have like a brand new piercing, like the hole seizes up really quickly. And so she tries to like thread it through. And this poor guy has gone to like a piercing studio and been like, I need to get it done. But I always prefer to use like Lebre studs for this kind of stuff and just have a small ball on the end. They're just easier to put in and out, except for these L bends on, especially new piercings, because having to sort of twist it around the nose. But it's the fact that like she keeps going like she keep this poor guy is here wanting his nose pierced and she keeps trying i, I think she had yeah, as a woman they keep trying they're going over going more and it just this and this goes on for like an uncomfortable amount of time i can't imagine how much like how painful this would have been for this person and she's ah that just about to die it's so stupid it's it's i feel so bad like at this point i always think to myself just put another bar in like it's clearly not working it's clearly not working and then it starts to bleed and he's sobbing sobbing so they did actually get it in in the end i'm not gonna play the entire video in this one but they, she did get it in they did get it in in the end it was to the stage where just put a labre just just uh. the l bend and just put a labre on the end you can get the it will look exactly the same taste the biscuit taste the goodness of the biscuit this guy's a 
fruit. So just missing out on the top 20 list, we have this. Now, I put this in the video because of course we've had many- Come with us to get our baby's ears Come with ears us to get our baby's ears pierced. We've seen many ears piercing of babies over the time. And the reason I've put this one in this video as well as other, other babies getting ears piercing and stuff is the fact that this one is like the couple is fully aware of what they're doing and like that it's not a good idea, yet they still do it and film it because they want internet attention. I don't know why I feel so sad, but excited to get our ears pierced. I'm excited. I'm excited, but I just feel like, you know, she didn't like sign up to get it pierced. We're just like doing it for her, making the decision for her, but I know she'll thank us later on. Why will she thank you later on? Why is she gonna thank you later on? Again, I said this in the, in the video when I posted this. It's like this assumption that all girls like will want their ears pierced in the future is so outdated and stupid. Like not every single girl is going to want their ears pierced. You blithering idiot! Oh no, she doesn't even know what's about to happen. Oh, and of course, then they go to Claire's accessories because you know that's a good place to get piercings. Ooh, we love a good Claire's piercing. Let's go, girls. Claire's. Oh my God, I'm gonna get my face pierced at Claire's. Oh, by the way, I was being sarcastic. How are you feeling, Dad? Yeah, now it's hitting me. Are you sad? Not Should sad. we walk out? We still have time to walk out. Let's go. I'm Let's scared. do it. We can walk out still. I mean, it's fine. It's about that time. But what would you do without the attention? She said no. Definitely shook her head no. Did so she say no? I don't want it. Oh, the fact that they're even joking about the baby saying no. Like, no, she doesn't want it. I'm so That's sad cool. for some reason. It's like her nervous. little baby ears. Nervous, but let's go. Oh my god. Good job. <laughs> and then I'm not gonna play it again. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. The baby gets raised pierced, starts screaming her head off, like as you would expect. I I just find it so ridiculous. Like I I've mentioned this before, but of course I'll say it again for this video in case no one saw. But like I obviously don't like mummy mummy channel mummy bloggers all this stuff. I'm like putting your baby on the internet like this. I just don't think it's okay. Like the fact that they're like the kids don't have consent. Maybe when they get older, they won't want all of this on the internet. Like I'm glad that I grew up in a time where you know I wasn't on the internet so much as a child. Like I'm glad that I was able to kind of not have my like life as a history as a child like just public for everyone to see to scrutinize because it's embarrassing we've seen so many cases now of children who were on the internet in the early youtube days back in like 2010 who had family vloggers all this stuff who now hate their families for what they did as children when it comes to the work ethic so many channels like eight passengers that woman is now being I don't know, is she in prison? Is she being, like, her, there's a trial going on of her because of child abuse allegations, because of all the way that she was acting on the internet, what she was doing to her children. We've had seen many cases of now of all these, like, abusive situations where children have been overworked, not being paid, forced to do things for mummy channels. And I, I, I hate it. And this kind of stuff as well, I hate it. Like, you're just doing this. Even, even though you knew that it wasn't a good idea, you were joking about how she didn't want it. And all, but what would you do without all the attention? Like, what would you do without the internet attention? What on earth do you want? You can say things like, are they honestly doing it for attention or are they just trying to remember? If you're just trying to remember it, you wouldn't put it on TikTok, using hashtags, talk like talking as if you're vlogging. like. It's, they're doing it for attention. Your children are not to like toys for you to pull around on the internet for attention. I hate it, I hate it. And again, going to things like Claire's accessories to get piercings, at least go to a studio. So let's start the top 20. So number 20, we have this absolutely revolting <laughs> surface oh. earlobe piercing. Yeah. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Oh, I hate it. I hate, like, I've said that, I said this in the original video. It's like, when you have ear piercing, so like an ear stub like this, or I guess it's not a good example because it's a stretcher, but like just an ear stub like this, you don't have to remove it all the time to clean it. You can just clean it in the shower because it's just, it's very, you know, there's not much skin being done inside. Obviously, still take them out every now and then and probably give your ear like a deep clean. But for most, like when I'm in the shower, I don't take all of my piercings out because they're just through and through. With something like this, because it goes inside so much of your flesh, your skin, whatever, you have to take this out every time to clean it. Because just scrubbing here and here, the water's not gonna get on the inside and clean this and bring it out. That's not gonna happen. So the idea that you've not taken this out to clean it is disgusting. Like, look how much, oh, that would smell. Take a good whiff, bitch. <coughs> clean yourself. Clean. Unclean. Shame. Shame. Number 19, we have this guy who's getting his septum pierced in what only I can imagine is some basement. Like, what is this? What, what, what is happening here? What? Like, what? This person, I, I, 
<laughs> so they're getting the septum pierced. I, I, it's, the, everything around is absolutely vile. First of all, like, I, I, it's it's wonk. It comes out really wonk. The guy obviously is, is like, help me, guy, I'm sobbing, I'm scared. But I'm more, honestly, I'm more triggered on this video by like the background. This guy is like, sold, there's some soldering going on in the background in this workshop. Like, why is the piercing studio here? Like, what's happening? And they like post it as if like, this is gonna be like this thing that everyone's like, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's weird. And like, it's really wonk. It's like really one-sided, really wonk, really, I'm like, what? Wonky septum, wonky septum. I said enough. Coming at 18, we have this. So this person is trying to do a belly button piercing with pliers. They're trying to do a belly button piercing with pliers. I, I don't understand what is happening. Like what is happening in this? How do they think like ply, like, Dirty. It's so weird. And like they're not even using they're using like a sewing pin or like a like some kind of put like pin. I'm assuming this is a pin for like sewing or something. Like, what did they think was going to happen? And then of course the thing bleeds and then the video ends and she dies. What a bloody sight it must have been. So coming in at number 17, we have this industrial. Oh I hate what was she doing? What is this piercer doing? Did you see that? Like, did you see that? What just happened? And they're, they're using the same needle twice to do an industrial piercing. Disgusting. If we just watch this first bit one more time, look at what she does with the needle. She just goes to push it in and then like digs into the ear with the needle. Have you ever seen anything so disgusting? Like fully just like digging. Like, what is that? What is that? What is going on? Fully like just like digging. I don't understand what they were doing. Of course then uses the needle, needle twice, which you do not do. You don't reuse a piercing needle. Like that's obscene. It. W I, I'm so puzzled by this video. So puzzled. Let's, we need to watch the digging one more time. Dig the biscuit. Watch this dig, 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 dig it. I should dig that out. <laughs> Number 16 was one that I wasn't sure if it should go on a tattoo one or a piercing one, but it's in the body mod one, I guess. <laughs> This man is known as Diablo Prado, a Brazilian tattoo artist that has taken body modification to the extreme. Not only is his body covered in ink, he has cut off part of his nose, making him only the third person in the world to do so. But he didn't stop there. He also cut off both of his ears and removed one of his ring fingers oh. to have a claw-like hand. Settle down, ladies. He has large bumps all over his head and has Sorry. implanted horns on his forehead. This, this He's also given himself here. tusk and split his tongue in two. While he's always been into tattoos, this journey of his really only started when he met his wife, Carol, who specializes in the art of body modification. Michael says, the idea is for me to become her masterpiece. So that was where it really effed me up a bit. When he, when it says like, he was never that into, like he was kind of into tattoos of his or whatever, but he didn't get this extreme until he met his wife and his plan now was to be her masterpiece piece that gave me the ick like it feels like he's not doing it because he wants to and he's like doing it because there's some sort of like other pressure that i don't really know i can't really make assumptions too much but that really gave me the ick i'm sorry this looks horrible like this it looks like you've been attacked like it looks horrible the thing is it's not even like it's neat or tidy it looks you ripped it off it doesn't like there's a reason a lot of doctors like no doctor is going to just take off your nose for the sake of it i would like to see it a lot of the stuff is going to be done like sort of like dodgy on the side the face tattoos and all that stuff is like it doesn't really bother me like it's fine if that's what you want you live your life girl but like removing the ears removing the nose like and removing like fingers as well like it just gives me the ick. It's really not for me, sis. <clears throat> so number 15, fainting during piercing. So this girl is getting her belly button pierced and it looks like it's in someone's kitchen, which is still questionable, but she's just getting a belly button pierced. Oh, pierced my belly button. I'm waiting for the fainting. Does she faint? Does she faint up? She doesn't faint up. No, she cleans up. No, she doesn't clean up. And the person beside her is like rocking. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> dead. <laughs> And she was never seen again. If you're going to take someone to a piercing studio to get, help me get piercings, at least make sure they're not the one who's going to faint. <laughs> Number 14, we have this. Extreme hand piercings. I don't really know what to make of this and what we're looking at. Like, there are so many piercings through this guy's hand. So at the fingertips, there's like fingertip piercing here, fingertips piercing going through here. One through like almost like the palm of the hand. All through his webbings on the fingers. Like, and the thing is, what I find shocking about this is like, if this was newly done, a lot of it would be like bright red. I don't know if maybe the photo's edited to take out redness. I don't know. It, that's a possibility. But like, how did you do this? Sometimes I, f I find just wearing rings a bit annoying. So I, like, I don't wear my rings 24-7. Like sometimes I just want to take them out because they're kind of annoying. But like having piercings all through the fingers, like how? 
That's asking for death. So number 13, we have this. So this is someone who's getting their septum pierced. Now, would a list of this be complete without an annoying person getting piercing? So she's getting a septum pierced, whatever, and then starts to scream and grabs hold of the piercer. Like, look at that. <gasps> And she's like screaming. She's like screaming at this. She's like screaming. There's music in the background as well, so I can't play the sound. But like she's screaming and she's scrubbing. Like, and she fully, it's the way that she like fully grabs hold as well. It wasn't just like she kind of was like panicked or whatever. She grabs hold and like. Take your filthy hands off me, peasant. When you do things like that, remember when you're getting your nose pierced and there's piercings or needles near you, grabbing hold of someone is not like, that's never going to end well. But it's the way she like fully grabs hold, like fully, like not even just like sort of touching, it's grabbing hold like this. When it comes to needles, piercings, all the stuff, you have to be composed. Else it's, it's not gonna end well, sis. Number 12. We have probably one of the biggest keloids I've ever seen in my life. I might just pause it here, actually. Like, look at this keloid. So, we don't really know. I don't know if this girl pierced herself. The song that she was singing, and like, there's a song playing underneath it, and it's about, have you ever fucked up? If she's saying, have you ever fucked up? I'm assuming she probably did it herself. I don't know. But look at this. I have never in my life seen a keloid this big on any like in on anyone like isn't that really shocking like that's really shocking like look how big this is gonna be one that someone who's prone to getting keloids like and she could you could remove it but like how far is it attached so it comes out from the earlobe but like would it have been attached in the back here against the ear as well i'm assuming it would be so you're gonna have to get that all cut out and if you're prone to keloids there's a chance that that's just gonna grow back as well like that's really shocking <gasps> Oh, God. So just missing up on the top 10, we have this. This girl who pierces, pierces her mouth shut. So at first, I thought this was just stuck on. I thought it was like fake. We see a lot of fake piercing things a lot of the time. But this one's actually real. So she's actually like, she's actually piercing her lip all these times to like do it together. Like, this is obviously just for like a look. I don't think she'd be stupid enough to actually keep it because she's done other piercing videos with this girl and she doesn't have them in. So I'm assuming this was just done as like a look thing or whatever. I'm not interested in a girl down your street. And she's actually like connecting it shut. I'm gonna just pause it here a second. So she pierces it and then attaches it with a chain. And these are actual piercings. Like they're not stuck on, like these are actual piercings. Like, sure for a look, it's fine. But what I wonder is like, what happens if she sneezes? What happens if she suddenly needs to sneeze? Because it's very difficult to kind of like sneeze with your mouth shut or whatever, like to do that. It actually hurts. Imagine if she just suddenly sneezes and goes <laughs> like that and like rips her lips open or like, Someone makes her laugh or like, I don't know, something happens or she really needs, like, I understand trying to do things artistically and things, but when it's like this, I just think, oh, there's a lot of room for things to really go wrong. Like, there's a lot of things here that could go wrong. Oh, God. So we've made it to the top 10 worst piercing fails of 2023. Buckle up. Number 10. We have this absolutely you may hate me revolting for calling out other piercings, belly button piercing, but, but just listen to, to what done. she says. And what hurts me the most is that this piercing was done by a well-known piercer here in Stockholm. Please Cancel hang up your the needles, studio. go retake your apprenticeship, maybe take a piercing course or two, and then circle back. Because you shouldn't even like, pierce with a jewelry like this. The fact that this was and pierced with this jewelry is obscene. You shouldn't even take extra money for a jewelry like this. Besides the fact that it was too short to accommodate for any swelling, yep, too the small. piercing was definitely not opening because look it at was that rusty. It's so awful, it but just like wait until week she takes it out and look. Look how disgusting the, the bar is. The girl was growing keloids, and what I saw when I lifted the piercing is that the keloid was trying to grow into the crevices of the piercing oh, no. of the diamond, if you know what I mean. Thankfully, this girl is okay now. She is fine. But honestly, look at that jewelry. Like, look, look, look how disgusting and like rusted that jewelry is. I know titanium is. may be expensive, but not even stainless steel. Like, this is probably brass or nickel. Brass. That is definitely not ideal for any piercings that will cause. That would hurt. That must have hurt so much taking that out as well. Like, look how look how rusted it is and just like that. That was done in a brand new pit of oh, disgusting. What an awful piercing studio that did that. Terrible. Terrible. Electric chair. Coming in at number nine. Um, I'm not going to say anything, actually. I'm going to let you just watch the video. Hey, Turbo Tanguy, and voici le serre-téton.
Oh, isn't that absolutely horrific? <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. Can you imagine? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Now, as I said a few times, would one of these countdowns complete be complete without at least one ear stretching fail? And we're going back to our wonderful Mrs. Stretchy Woman split ear woman thing. So this guy is getting his ears pierced. He's got like a uh, piercing stud size jewelry to begin with. She already stretches it up to this. And she's like, oh no, we're not done yet, girls. We're just going to go to the next size. But what's worse about this compared to the other ones, right? Is normally with these stretching videos, and the reason why this is so high up on the list, is the fact that, so this is what they've gone to. And she's going to this. Now, normally when she does these videos, she does one size at a time. And she's still stretching way too fast. But she goes up by one each time. But not this time. She decides to like skip like four sizes and goes all the way to the top from basically the beginning, which is insane. Outrageous. She's trying to push that through. Now look at the force that she's having to push to push that through. And it's like really going. But what makes it worse? Look now. Look at the back of his ear. Just look at the back of his ear. You can see the skin like fully ripped. You can see the skin is like fully ripped on the back of the ear. Right? Look, it's fully ripped. Like that's horrific like that absolutely horrific and i was thinking like so as she's like tying on the back of it now because the skin is like frayed at the back if she's screwing it on imagine if some of that frayed skin got caught into the like into the like the screw absolutely disgusting ear blowouts a blowout Blow out, blow out, blow out heaven she's blown out girls coming in at number seven we have a terrible baby ear piercing. I am so shocked by this one because not only has this baby got a, like more than one piercing, this baby has got two piercings in cartilage. Look at this piercing in the top of this baby's ear through the cartilage. This fully should be illegal. I'm so surprised that anyone would do this. I mean, she may have done it herself to her child. This is literally the definition of child abuse. Getting a helix piercing anyway, as an adult, is really <coughs> painful. Like the top rim of your ear is painful. Anyone's like, it's really not painful. It's painful. They're lying to you. Yes, some piercings might not hurt as much as others, but like cartilage piercings in the ears are always painful, especially up the top here. And to subject your baby to that, like getting an earlobe piercing is bad enough for a kid baby. Like you shouldn't do it anyway. It's just because these are so huge for this baby's ears. It looks ridiculous because it's so big. But to get a cartilage piercing and two of them as well, because it's on the other side, like just like on the rim here is fucking <laughs> disgusting you bitch coming in at number six we have this girl who was doing an anti-eyebrow piercing oh and but like look at this as well look at the i i and honestly this made me feel really uncomfortable like look at that i have to blur the actual needle going through unfortunately because it goes it kind of goes against to's like turn service whatever but like i can show the end like this is so and she's trying to put down the bar through but like look like, it's it's really bad. Like, it's really bad. Like, piercing this yourself around this area is a terrible idea for many, many different reasons. Infections, cost, like, potential going blindness of infections going spreading around your eye. Like, your eye area is so sensitive. It's really not something you should be doing yourself. But the fact that she, like, pierced her anti-eyebrow like that, like, this is really bad. And, like, if you look at this side as well, the surface bar is, like, already out of the skin. Really bad. So number five, we have this kid who, again, must be like 12 or 13, getting a snake eye piercing, having all of these piercings as young as they are, like is obscene. But to get a snake eye piercing, which in itself has so many dangers because of the kind of piercing it is, to have it this young is really obscene. It's really obscene. Get a couple of yellow piercings, whatever, maybe even a nose stud, but to get like things like tongue piercings and scaffolding piercings and eye roll piercings at that age, is really bad. But not only that, in the video, they then start getting a tattoo on their neck. Terrible parenting. Swat! So number four. Again, I'm gonna kinda let it speak for the self. So just, 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 so you're like, what's happening? And then you realize what's going on. You 
You've lost your mind. So if you don't really understand what just happened, let me just explain. This person has got suspension piercing kind of stuff in his back. So he's got these like like uh, hooks or something. I don't know what you would even call. I'm not sure what you'd call these, but they've got them inside the back, which is holding the parachute for when he base jumps. I get that your back on your skin, your, your, the back on your skin, the skin on your back, whatever, is tough, and like you've got a few in. But is it really worth this? Like, I'm sure you probably did tests and things, but is it really worth this? Potential, like, matter if that rips and you just fall to your death. With suspension piercing as well, it's like, if they're doing suspension, whatever, you know, you get slowly lifted up. You don't jump off something. So, like, the sudden pressure of, like, that pulling on the skin, that would, first of all, that would really hurt. But secondly, like, you could really rip the skin. The, the, the pressure of, like, the pull... Rip the skin, girls, and I'm dead. Hooray! So number three, we have this person who got all of these tongue piercings done in one go. Like, this is obscene. Absolutely obscene. So, there's, sorry, there's loads of blood in this bit. So I have to blur this bit. There's so much blood. And then they clean it out. Let me just pause, pause it here. Hang on, let me just pause it here. So this person got one, two, three, four, five, six surface piercings on their tongue in one go. That is absolutely insane scoop piercings on the tongue are really bad anyway same as snake eyes like surface piercings on the tongue are just not a good idea for again many multitude of reasons you, you know i'm not gonna keep going about why they are but six surface piercings in one go like that's severely asking for real trouble real trouble speaking you know, blood bleeding too much. Your tongue's going to swell a lot and going to eat the bars. Like, that's going to affect how you talk drastically. Tooth damage. Like, this is such a bad idea. And to do six of them in one go. Six of them. Obscene. So just missing out on the number one spot. We actually have someone who was <laughs> just in the top ten already. We have we have someone has a double space. This one person has two spots in the top ten of piercing fails of 2023. Now, this guy here, this so he's shoved a fishing hook through his tongue and then is being pulled by someone with a fishing hook down with a van. So this is the guy that had the nipple pieces with the kite. So he's done this. So first of all, I don't, I'm assuming his tongue was already pierced because I don't, I, it's hard to tell, but this is really thick. So you've got this thick hook through the tongue and then he's literally being pulled on roller skates down a, a like stone road, not even on tarmac, like the really smooth stone road down on a. The woman's demented. So my biggest thing, like, so this is like not even tarmac. If it was tarmac and it was really smooth and there's no ridges and no loose stones, it wouldn't be as scary but because he's on like a, like a stony kind of road. One little slip up, one big stone, one little bit of a rock or something and you fall over, you best hope that the person holding the fishing line has lightning fast reactions because if you just twist like this and fall down and he's got that in his hand still, the potential of ripping through your tongue is absolutely horrific. He's still going and the speed that he would have to react to let go is so f like lightning fast to not to ensure that you do because if he's still holding it tight, because he's going to be holding it tight enough to be able to pull you. That's going to have some force to it. He's going to have to hold tight. So in a split second, if you fall over, th th you want to rip your tongue out. Or even it pulls the guy from the van and he just like slams himself on a, from a moving vehicle onto hard concrete. You do whatever the hell you want. This, like if you're this stupid, you want attention this bad, do this. But there's a level of like, it starts to get to natural selection. Like if this is what you're getting involved with, honestly, if you get hurt, I don't feel sorry for you. Like I don't feel sorry for you. When you go to this level of like attention seeking and clout chasing on the internet for like lols and like laughs and things, I'm like, if you get hurt, you're like, I do not feel sorry for you. I say it, what I say it. Imagine falling from that van and hitting the concrete at that speed. Like you are gonna get fucked uh up. So we have come to the number one worst piercing fails of 2023. Now, this one so much isn't so much of the piercing itself going wrong. It's the insufferable people being pierced. Now, I posted this on Instagram and it got like 5 million views. It went really big. It's been like, it's like my biggest reel, which I think one of the reasons why it's number one as well, because of how much it actually did for my Instagram as well. Let's just watch this. I'm sure some of you already know what this is going to be. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> like trying to get piercings and this is the put like <laughs> and this person getting so angry at the piercer for like obscene 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 it's obscene it's obscene obscene and this first person as well the amount that this girl is moving like fully just like doing this like could you imagine could you imagine could you imagine imagine god i, I remember when i first watched this it, was, it really pissed me off but like i don't understand how you can act like that in a piercing studio and think it's okay like you need composure i get i always get people going why are you invalidating people's pain literally shut the f oh. up oh. when you're acting like this this is unacceptable to do in a piercing studio like this isn't invalidating people's pain this is unacceptable someone has to do a job someone has to do it and when you're like screaming and pulling and pulling away and doing all of this it's just unacceptable like if you can't handle it don't get it like this is you cannot act like this in a piercing studio it's really bad well guys we are well and truly aboard that trigger train choo choo being down the railway about to crash off the cliff and plunge to my death Bye! and i'm back just like jesus christ squat for jesus oh jesus loved a good piercing fail oh jesus loved to not scream in the piercing studio oh jesus loved to do parachuting with his back skin oh jesus Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Oh my god. Can I just say, this year has been un un unhinged for piercing fails. But thank you so much for joining me from all the piercing fails of this year. Don't worry, this isn't my last video of the year. There's still more videos coming out. And we will be doing a roundup of the worst tattoo fails as well coming up next week. But thank you so much for all the love and support you've given me this year on these piercing videos. I, I find it completely insane that we're still doing these after this many years. And I'm so glad that you guys are still really enjoying them. So, as always, these aren't going anywhere, bitch. So keep tagging me. Keep sending me things to react to over on TikTok, Instagram and everything. I know Instagram DMs have been a bit weird recently. They're kind of limiting how many DMs you can send. But... When I'm doing Instagram DM videos, I'm still like I'm like, accepting more people than I normally would just so my inbox isn't like locked. So please make sure you keep trying to send me things. If it doesn't work, just wait. And maybe in the next couple of weeks, you should be able to start sending me things again. I just obviously have to make sure that I'm accepting enough people. Please don't give up. But yeah, make sure you keep sending me things to react to. Thank you for all the love and support you've given me this year. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Luca, Prince of Horror, Cameron Pittman, Callum S, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aia, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are mwah, delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be. And don't let any bitch of the tell that you can't be. Why is that? Because you are flawless.